wrapping up the workout that we just had here in Seattle with uh, Joel and Mark and uh, it was a very good workout is much better than I expected actually because my back has been really really tight for the last two days didn't train back yesterday as I was supposed to because I wanted to give uh, give my lower back a rest I honestly think it's my mattress and uh, I've got to get a new mattress I actually stayed in this spare room last night which uh, Sunshine was probably very happy about so she didn't have to deal with my snoring again um, I don't know I don't know what's more painful my snoring for her or my uh, lower back pain um, but fortunately I hate to say it uh, Mark deals with a lot of back pain as well so he chose the exercises and led the workout today uh, which put a lot of stress on our legs and not on the lower back we did a bit of a occlusion training which I'm not very familiar with but it was very good in this instance so we could get a lot of blood volume into their quads and uh, not allow it to uh, flush back in around the system and we kept the reps high we kept the intensity high like neither myself Joel or Mark were talking really we just went in circuit 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 and uh, sometimes some supersets there sometimes some uh, pyramid sets or drop sets and uh, just push a lot of volume into it so it's good to get a real good leg workout even though there's lower back issues going on so it goes to show that you know with smart mature training you can navigate your way through the sessions without having to miss out on that sessions altogether and there's definitely some movements and exercises and uh, st uh, stressful loads and uh, getting creative with certain techniques that I'm definitely going to take home with me and start applying and I'll probably claim them as my own as well so I, I come across as being a lot smarter than what I already am. Now, why do you do this? Do you find it helps with the pump, with the isolation? Well, yeah, blood flow restriction. So basically, I mean, even when you have continuous tension on a muscle, there's restriction in blood going back, which is why continuous, continuous tension reps like burn mm. for that, because the lactic acid buildup. You know, like years ago, they thought, oh, lactic acid's bad. It isn't, because it like elicits all sorts of growth hormones you know, yeah. mm. so so this is basically just gonna the blood will get in there but it ain't gonna come back out ah. it's gonna hurt like <laughs> So to go through the workout briefly, we started off with hamstring curls. So it was a unilateral movement, except we were using um, or unilateral exercise and machine, but we were doing both hamstrings at the same time. We did about five sets there and uh, making sure that we were pausing and contracting. We did about five, yeah, five sets of about 10 repetitions. Then on the last set, we did a drop set. And uh, then after that, we moved on to leg extension, supersetting that with a goblet squat. And we went back and forth, back and forth. I think we probably did about 10 sets here, didn't we, Joel? Uh, five sets here, didn't we, Joel? Yeah. Uh, five supersets, 10 reps each. And that's when we had the, uh, our wraps, knee wraps on for the occlusion training. And then after that, we moved on to a weird sort of hamstring uh, deadlift movement. Uh, using a t-bar row and this easy strap that Mark had comes up with all sorts of uh, gizmos and uh, We did serve probably about five sets here as well to really target the glutes Hamstrings got some involvement but real uh, really got some glute involvement there And then we finished off with the hack squat what was different and what I really liked about this 
is that he used bands around that hack squat machine, which took the stress at the, away from the bottom of the movement, so there's no stress on the knees. And we periodized up during the set, so we increased the weight and resistance as we moved up. So it just got harder and harder, but particularly at the top of the movement. And I was able to go beyond that failure point, as I usually would, uh, without having any stress on my knees. And uh, I think we did about four or five sets there, there as well, just increasing weight as we went along. And that was it. So that was justified enough for us to eat. What, did I forget something? The squats. Squats? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did squats as well, didn't we? Sorry. We did squats after the goblet squats and leg extensions. Yes, we did squats. What was that bar called? Can you remember, Joel? Uh, the camber bar? Yeah, it's just a cambered bar. I'd never used one of those before. If I had, it'd been a long, long time ago. Uh, but that took the stress away from the knees as well. And what we did on there that was different, we started off with a 30 second negative, then knocked out 10 reps and finished off with a 30 second negative as well. So uh, that was something that was very different to what I'm used to. And you just did one set? We just did one set. That's all she wrote. We only needed one set and we were cooked so that's it i obviously need food because i was forgetting the workout so let's go and get some carbs son <laughs>